one of the things that I get asked the most is how do you source thousands of leads very quickly? And I have an exact method that I'm going to show you in this video how you do this. And it's through scraping leads and it doesn't require hundreds and hundreds of dollars to do this. And it works actually surprisingly well. Now there is methods out there that are going to give you more precise leads, higher quality leads because you do this manually, but the cost is going to be 10 times higher. And the time it takes you is literally going to be a hundred, if not a thousand times longer. So if you're not familiar with who I am, my name is Ben Lister. I help agency owners by documenting my learnings on this YouTube channel that help me to make multi six figures per year. And this video is going to give you my exact process on how we do this lead scraping. I'm going to dive into the computer and show you how it works. Okay, so the first website we want to use is an Apollo scraper, right? This I believe is called like magically genius. Yeah, magicallygenius.com slash Apollo scraper. And it takes you to this site, right? And if you're not familiar with Apollo, what Apollo is, is it's this search platform where you can basically find millions and millions of people. And we can go and take the link from this search that we've created paste it into here and it will give us all of the leads. Now, Apollo is like $90 a month or something and you don't even get that many leads. This is $4 for a thousand leads. So if you have a lead list of like a thousand leads, which is, you know, pretty decent sized list, it's going to cost you $20, which is literally nothing, right? And for the, the amount of appointments that you can get from this and the amount of, you know, results you can get from this and how much you can charge for this, it's, it's a pretty good deal, okay? And so what we wanna do when we come into Apollo is basically this is gonna be, you know, 275 million people in here. This is, they've scraped LinkedIn, they've scraped everything and they found emails, they found how many employees these companies have, they found out where they're based, you know, all of this kind of stuff, right? The very, very first thing we wanna do is we wanna change the email status to verified. And what you'll notice is that we've just lost 200 million people there because 200 million of the emails actually aren't verified. So if we're gonna send these guys an email, which I'm guessing that's what most of you are gonna do, and this is what we need to make sure we're doing right. And so obviously if you're going to do a uh, cold calling from this, for example, maybe you don't wanna do email uh, verified, but I would always recommend it anyway. And so the next thing we wanna do is we wanna dictate a uh, industry, okay? And so let's say, for example, I'm gonna go for marketing agencies, right? And I'm gonna put the keyword as marketing and advertising. Now this has gone down from like 90 million to 2 million, okay? But we still have some very, very big hits in here. We have Gary Vee in here. We have guys who run a 14,000 employee business. Maybe that's not what we're looking for, okay? So let's change the employees. So if I'm looking for marketing agencies to you know, sell my services to, then I'm probably looking for about one to 10 employees. You can do a custom range in here. Maybe you want to do uh, less than five employees, right? Let's let's go with that. And so now we have 236,000 people, still quite a lot. And so there's going to be some in here. So for example, Australia, the time zone difference is going to be crazy there. Uh, Brazil, maybe doesn't speak my language. India, maybe don't speak my language. Okay, so I'm going to change the location. I'm going to change it to just the United States. And so now we're down to 80,000, just like that. Okay, and so what you'll seem to find in here is that straight away, for example, on this very first thing, you're gonna get founders, you're gonna get CEOs, you're gonna get stuff like that. But if you go down to you know page 20, page 30, whatever it is, and we can't go all the way down because I don't have a paid account here, but when we get to that point, you're gonna to start to get you know assistants, people that aren't decision makers, right? And so when we go to the job titles, we want to go and put in a lot of these you know founders. We want to put in CEO. We want to put in you know director all this kind of stuff, okay? And so now you can see we've got 26,000 people in here, which is a, a pretty big lead, a pretty big lead list. And let's start to think of a couple more president. Yeah, and I'm sure you can add a few more, you know, you can come down here and maybe add like a managing director in there and stuff like that. You don't wanna make it too big. Sometimes when you add in a director or like, for example, if you just put officer, you're gonna get chief marketing officer, chief revenue officer. So maybe not the decision makers that you're looking for, um, but these are the kind of people that we would be looking for. So about 32,000, okay? And so we're not done there. We still have a bunch of stuff to do here because just because we put marketing and advertising doesn't mean that they're all marketing agencies. It doesn't mean that they're all the kind of businesses that we're looking for. And so what I like to do is if you come across to the right here to keywords, you'll see there's gonna be some kind of businesses in here that aren't exactly what we're looking for, right? And so if I just come in here and take a look at a couple of these, so Cardinal Thrive, they do advertising services. I don't know what they really do. Marketing strategies, yes, yeah, so they would be an agency, but we're looking for businesses in here that maybe have crept in for some reason and they're not actually what we're looking for. And if we use these, so for example here, clinical trials, this is definitely not what we're looking for. So if I open this, this is gonna say a bit more about business. Recruit qualified, let me just do a Google of them. I can understand what these guys are doing. Recruit qualified, maybe there's not too much stuff on them. Clinical research organizations with the right participants. Okay, yeah, so this is not what we're looking for. And so in the keyword section here, you'll see clinical trials. And so if I go into the industries and I go to exclude, I can put in here clinical trials. 
can spell it right. Clinical trials. Add that in. That's going to remove it. Okay, and it's barely removed any, but it's definitely removed that one. And so you'll come in here and you'll start to see some base keywords and stuff like that that you're not actually looking for. And so you can start to remove those out. So here, concierge services. Let me get rid of that. Services, just like that. Add that in. And then now, you know, it's barely removed any, but sometimes you will get somewhere, for example, like insurance companies come in here. So if I put in insurance in here now, let me just remove that. Yeah, so we removed like 300 in there. And the cool thing about this is because we are gonna be paid per, per thousand leads, let's say if our lead list right now is, you know, 32,000, this is a very big lead, a list, lead list, of course, this will last you a long time. It's gonna cost you $96 to do that whole lead list, right? If, for example, you know, we can get this down from 32,000 to 27,000, then we're gonna save ourselves a little bit of extra cash, right? So this is why the search is so important. But of course, you don't wanna remove, you know, businesses that would actually be, uh, crucial to you actually you would want to reach out to those okay so you just got to be careful with that but once we have a list that works you simply come in here copy this you paste it in here you put your email in there and you put how many leads that you want this lead at the moment this lead list is 32,400 now what I found with websites like this is that it tends to give you a little bit less than what you actually want right so instead of coming here and putting 33,000 so you get them all if you put 32,000 I feel like there's a strong chance to lost a little bit less than that right so there isn't going to be 32,400 in here there's going to be maybe 31,900 right so if you pay 32,000 then you're only going to get that so just a quick tip and so you would do that, you would pay for it, it would come for you on your email. The longer the lead list, I think the longer it takes, but it should take about 20 to 30 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. And you end up with something like this. Now this is completely crazy and it's something that you probably don't wanna use straight away. And so what we like to do in a situation like this is tidy it up. And I'm gonna tidy it up with you right now so you show exactly what to do and how you can basically make this super, super simple to use so you can easily withdraw the information and actually make the leads better quality. So. First of all, index and ID just always seems to be here and I don't really know what it is, but I'm gonna remove them. And then we wanna get the uh, organization name, which is here, move this to the very left. And we wanna get the full name in there. Um, title can go, email, put that in here. Personal email, put that in here. I'll show you we'll do that in a second. LinkedIn comes in here, or website. Okay, and then if I format it like this, boom, just like that, okay. And so you'll get email and personal email and you'll get some that actually don't have an email, but for this one looks like there's a lot, but I think if we go further down, there's, there's, a, there's not that many without an email. Okay, and so this formula that I like to use, it's equals if h2 equals blank comma g2 comma h2, right? And so the, the cells here, the first one is gonna be the email that you, you, you want. I've actually done this wrong. Let me change this, so it's gonna be g2, it's gonna be h2, it's gonna be g2, cool. And so basically the first one that you want is gonna be the email. So if, if there is an email, but there isn't a personal email or there is, it doesn't matter, we'll use the email. But if there's not an email, but there is a personal email, then we'll use the personal one, right? And so what this formula does, if I drag this down, you'll start to see is that it's gonna to start to use the emails if there is one, but if there isn't one, then it will use the personal email if there isn't one. And so if I remove, um, let's say this, for example, it's then gonna give me this email to use. Uh, it's gonna be the personal email, right? Just like that. And so when we've done this, and we've done this for, for all of the leads that we have in here, what you'll notice is that it's actually very difficult to edit this, okay? Because it's in a formula, it's kind of a bit tricky. And so if you highlight this whole thing and you do uh, command click on this, so you just do this, and you copy all of these, you can then come in here and paste values only. And it will just give you the value of the actual um, the email. So we can now come in and edit this email, right? And we can, you know, make sure that it's fine and we can move it around and stuff and it's not going to break when we move the spreadsheet around. And so now we have basically the emails that we actually want to use here. And I can also come in here and do the same for website, right? So website to use. Sometimes these guys don't have a website, but they do have a LinkedIn. So we want to use that LinkedIn if we're going to, for example, send a loom to them or, or anything else like that. Get this fucking formula. Okay, and I'm just gonna come in here and put this in properly. Okay, cool, so exact same process. Sometimes with the websites, when you paste the values in, it just removes the link for some reason, so you can't actually click on it. But if you hold enter all the way down, then it will give you that. It kind of takes a little bit of, a little bit of time to do that, but it doesn't actually, you know, you don't actually have to do that. Um, and so now once we have these, I'm gonna move this in, website to use and email to use. And then I'm gonna basically separate a bit of space out so we can 
we can seal this. And so now this is basically all the information that you need. You need the person's name, you need the organization name, you need the, the website to use and the email to use, right? And so now what you'll notice is that we have some emails that aren't there, right? We have some websites that aren't there. And so this is where we use the data formula. So we go to data, data cleanup, remove duplicates. If we remove the duplicates, for example, for all of this, then it's not going to be any because every single one has a specific index and ID that I showed you earlier, right? But if we remove the select all and we just select emails to use, which is going to be F, then what it's going to start to do is it's going to notice that the emails that are missing are technically duplicates, right? Because the cell is exactly the same. And so remove all the ones without a actual uh, email. And so if I just remove this, just removed about 1300 in there. And so now we have this one that's left because obviously this is the one that wasn't a duplicate. So I can literally just go in here and remove this. And so now every single one of these is going to have an email. And so I can basically do the same thing that I want for the website as well. So highlight all these data, data cleanup, remove duplicates. And we just want to do uh, the e column, which is the website to use, remove that. And so 75, which is pretty cool. And so basically now every single person in here is going to have a website and they're going to have a load of blank space at the bottom because you just removed a bunch of duplicates. But what we can start to do here is now we have a list that is a little bit more tidy, right? And so what I like to do in a situation like this is to duplicate the, the sheet. And so I'm using the exact same sheet over here. So this is the same one. So if I come in here and I remove this, then it's going to remove on there, right? Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to highlight a bunch of these websites. Okay, so let's just do a couple of them now. And I'm going to open the links, okay? And so what we're looking to do in here is we're actually looking to find websites or you know businesses that we're not actually targeting. Now, do you have to do this? No, this is gonna make your lead list a lot cleaner and it's gonna make it so that you're actually sending emails to people that are you know active. But if you don't do this, then obviously you're gonna be sending emails into spam a little bit more. Maybe you're gonna get uh, emails bouncing a little bit more. Um, and it also means that you're gonna find businesses that are actually you know what you're looking for. So I believe this is a uh, lead list for coaches. And so you can see in here, this one will be fine. So I'm not gonna do anything to this one. This website is down, right? So maybe the business is down. Maybe I need to research into it. Maybe I need to have a look. Um, but I could just come in here and delete this, for example. And I come in here, this one looks fine. And this one looks fine, right? And so you just come in here and go through all the different ones. I've done up to this one in here, so I'm gonna mark this in green, just like that. And obviously you can pay a virtual assistant to do this. You can you know, have uh, one of your lead sources or your lead sources to do this. And it's a very, very quick way to actually come in here and find you know thousands and thousands of leads. And the cool thing about this is because we have a little bit of information in here, if you're paying someone to do this or you're just doing this yourself, you can come in here and start to tidy this information up, okay? So a lot of these organization names will be not what you would say in real life, right? So you wouldn't say, for example, you know, hey Camille, I love the look of Breakthrough to Intelligence LLC. You would just say Breakthrough to Intelligence, right? This is what all you would say. And so you can just come in here and tidy this up a little bit. Maybe you wouldn't have like this huge name in there. Uh, you definitely wouldn't have LLC in there. Obviously you can come in here and search for uh, comma space LLC full stop, and you can find a bunch of those. And if you go in there and find them, you'll see them in there. And if you leave this blank and you click replace, it's going to start to replace them. And so if you even want to go one better, you can just do it in B. So you can just go in and find them. There's no matches. Maybe maybe you've got them all in. But if I do comment LLC without the dot, and I do it in specific range. Uh, oh, sorry, it was in A, that's why. Okay, cool. Um, and then we find it, no matches. Find it, looping around. I'm not sure why that isn't working. Ah, oh, that's why. Okay, cool. So there's like a bunch in here. And if you literally just click replace all, then it's going to replace them so you can't find that anymore. And there's different ways that they do LLC like this. So you can find a bunch of those to click replace all to that. Um, and then there's ways that they do it where they do um, space l dot l dot c like that one over there. And there's going to be a couple of those, replace those, for instance, that. And so you can start to clean this up like really, really quickly, right? You can do, you know, space LLC. And there's a bunch of stuff that you can do in here to make this really efficient, right? There's formulas that you can use to make sure if you have like one that's in capitals like this, then it will spell it out not in capitals in the next one. And so there's a bunch of different formulas and stuff that you can find if you just Google them to figure this stuff out. But you can see in here that we've just generated, you know, thousands and thousands of leads and it's taken just a few minutes to do this. Um, and so obviously now this is like a super clean lead list. So the chance that someone responds to these emails, you get positive responses, it's gonna be much higher than if you just, you know, scrape 10,000 leads, you don't touch it. And then, you know, you send off those emails and your emails will probably get put into some kind of spam or that bounce and, you know, you're gonna get poor email reputation at that point. 
which probably means your campaign won't last for too long. And so that is how the system works. If you are looking for more clients for your agency, go ahead and click the first link in the description. It's not some email opt-in, phone number opt-in. It's literally just a video of me explaining what my company does and how we do this. You don't have to click it, of course. I don't really care if you do or not. But if you did get some value from this, I would appreciate it if you liked, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. But yeah, I appreciate you watching this one to the end. Cheers.